I'm going to make my first program called Pizza, and these two output statements here we'll learn about in this lesson. They're very, very important. And so, back to the whole NetBeans that I've been using. Uh, notice I can have my projects up here, which are like separate filing cabinets that will keep me organized in everything that I'm working in. And I'm going to use my pro computer programming one. We're just really beginning programming with this video. And uh, inside source packages, I've got this unit one um, folder, which is really called a uh, package. And these packages organize everything for me. And I'm going to create a new program inside here. So I'm going to right click on the unit one folder, go to new Java class. Remember, a class is actually a program. Uh, and I'm going to name this one pizza. and click finish. It's going to set it up for me. And just a quick tour here on these things. What is in gray actually doesn't mean anything to the computer, the compiler. It, nothing happens here. I can type anything I want inside what it, inside these things here, these little markers. These are called comments. So I can go to hello, uh, hello, you can't see me. Okay, I can just taunt the computer a little bit because the computer doesn't read this at all. Nothing happens. Package, remember this is just telling me what package this program is in, which folder. So it's over here in unit 01 folder. And again, you see more of these. And I'll make future videos here to talk about these. Uh, and of course, we can talk about the author and all of that stuff. But again, none of that stuff shows up. Now, it's this part right here that's going to be ver become very important. And the public class pizza. So public for now just means it's it's open to the public to use. A class, remember, means that this is a class, a program, and it is called pizza. Whatever is inside here is my actual program here. Now, there are some shortcuts to get some things to show up, and this is a the first program, so not a lot of this is going to make sense, but PSVM, and then I hit the tab key. And that means here, if you do PSVM and then hit the tab key, so just remember that's the first letter in these, P, S, V, M, and then hit the tab key, you'll get this to show up. Now for now, I just basically have to tell you, you have to have this. This is your main method, this is your main part of your program right here, and everything you do inside of this is going to be what the program the computer actually runs for now that's really all I can explain if you're a beginning programmer and just starting off with it being your first program this kind of a quick little tour of just like the structure of a program these comments up here are hidden items you don't have to know about at this point yet this package is just an organizational tool telling us what package we're in what folder and this part is required this public class pizza it needs to declare the name of the program. Notice the brackets that open and close this part. And within those brackets we have this main method, this public static void main string args. You don't need to understand what they mean, you just have to do it for now. Now inside here uh, we need to create our program and the two main things that I was discussing now are these things called system.out.print and inside here there were some quotes and a semicolon at the end. Semicolon at the end is going to be huge. So really what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get some output in my program. And whatever is in these quotation marks is what's going to output in my program. So uh, this one's called pizza, so I'm going to put I like pizza. Uh, I like pizza. Alright, so there is my entire program. This program just simply outputs I like pizza. That's all it does. Now to output it, uh, up in the menu there's a lot of options, which are good, but uh, run file is the one you want. You know, Shift F6, notice the shortcut Shift F6. So as I make videos, I will not come up here to the menu over and over. I will just do Shift F6. I'll run the program, and output window down on the bottom will start working. Uh, and typically it will work quite a bit faster than what it is doing right now. And there it is, the output, I like pizza. So whatever I put inside the quotes here will show up. So I could go pizza, and I'll do all caps here. Pizza is great. 
right? And I could do Shift F6 here, Shift F6, and run the program. And there it is, pizza is great. So whatever I put inside the quotes shows up down as my output for my program. So when you see programs have output, that's text. It puts text on the screen. This is one way to do it. Uh, and of course, very, very basic. Now if you notice, this is kind of irritating here. This pizza is great and then there's no space and this build successful total time one second. That's always going to show up there. It's just communicating to me that the program worked and that it's done. Which is kind of irritating. It looks like part of my output. Well, the trick here is to know that system out print, if you put ln, that's system out print new line, it basically says when you're done printing here, I want you to print a new line or basically hit the enter button. So if, whenever I use print ln instead of print, when I run the program, shift F6, it will run it and when it's done, printing that it will hit enter basically for me and put these down on the on the next line and that's all great then if you want to try to format your output a little bit more uh, more user friendly and more read add more readability to it so if I add another um, output statement here system dot out now I've had taught classes where uh, students haven't been have never been shown that there's a shortcut to do this because believe me you're going to do so many system.out.prints and so many system.out.println's uh, so many of those lines while you code that you're going to be typing forever uh, but there is a shortcut there is a shortcut to all this and it's to remember that you have s for system and the word out and if you just combine those s out if you just type s out and hit the tab button it will type this for you uh, in NetBeans. So remember, but that's going to give you an LN. So if you don't want an LN or a new line, you're going to have to delete the LN. But that's still faster than typing that whole line over and over and over again. So pizza is great. I love eating pizza. All right. So now I actually have two lines of output here. The first line is going to say pizza is great. The second line is going to say I love eating pizza. So I'll do Shift F6 to run this. And there you can see my output on two lines. Pizza's great, I love eating pizza. Now, let's say I don't want that on two lines. I want it on one. Well, there's a couple of options. Yes, I could just go up here and go pizza is great, and then just add spaces. I love eating pizza. And then I could delete this line out. Okay, I could do that. But there are times where that's not actually what you want to do so instead let me just go back to where I was instead what I can do one option is I can remove that LN right there and remember what's gonna happen is it's gonna go pizza is great but it's not hinting it's not adding a new line it's not hitting enter here at all it's just gonna continue with the next output so when I run this and do shift F6 you can see that it's all in one line because there was no LN there. So it's pizza is great. I love eating pizza. Now notice maybe this is irritating. You don't see a space in here. You're supposed to have two spaces after the end of the sentence. And that's okay. You could add that either here. Add two spaces right there after that and run this. Shift F6. And now you have your spacing here in your output. Or technically, if I didn't add spacing there, I could add it here before that because what it does is it just splices or it puts this con this statement next to this statement so if I run this that will work so that's just your main really really basic one way to add output in your program and so the purpose of this video is basically to make sure that you understand how to use system.out.print what it does how to use system out print ln and what it does and how to do multiple lines of output so that you get the code to look the way you want it to look here. For now, that's kind of a summary. And last, the third uh, third thing that you need to get here is to make sure you understand the S out tab and how much quicker that is to help you when typing some code uh, when you're looking for output. So I hope that helps you just get started on some real basic things when it comes to output.